Today we will learn how to use text mask and keyframes to create an effect like this. I am starting the project by adding two stock videos from Pixabay. Once loaded, let me move the first video clip to another track to place it right above the second one. And then move the top clip towards the right. Little less than a second. Now double tap on the top segment so that I can add the text masking effect on it. Tap on the add effect and then choose the text mask effect from the masking category. This punches the text into the top video layer through which we can see the bottom layer. Now let me edit the text properties in the property editor. First, enter some text that you want. I will change the font to a thicker one. And then, we need to do something important here. We need to invert the mask, which will keep the text, but make everything else in this layer transparent. And that would look like this. This looks good, but adding a shadow into the text would make the text look more prominent. So, let us go back to the effects panel and then add the shadow effect from the edges category and then adjust the shadow properties. We also need to add a transition so that the text do not appear suddenly. So tap on this little triangle at the beginning of the top segment and then choose a transition. This is looking better now, but we need to make the mask zoom in to get the effect. So, let me now go back to the masking effect and add some keyframes. Tap on this top right diamond button to add a keyframe somewhere here. And then a little bit towards the right on the timeline, we will add another keyframe by zooming the text mask. And now let me play it. This is almost working fine, but the text starts zooming all of a sudden. We can fix it by using a easing curve on the text masking effect keyframes. So let me go back to the masking effect and tap on this little curve button next to the keyframe button. Here we have a lot of curves to choose from. And I will go with this ease in curve so that the initial part of the animation slows down and last part speeds up. I think I can use an even stronger curve like this cubic ease in. This is looking better. Let me now play the whole video. This is just an example of how you can use masking. Masking and keyframes opens up many possibilities for you to be creative with your edits. Thank you for watching.